Welcome back to my Let's Play Resident Evil 5. In the last part, we... Uh, what, did, what the hell did we do? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we fought through the tribal death ways. And in this part, uh, we're going to have a search for... Jill and your new handgun. Fucking cat. Choice of drink today is Fago Red Pop. All right, uh. We got treasures to sell. Sell that. Sell them. And the two enigmas. Alright, now what I'm going to do is sell the hand sell my handgun. Because there's a new handgun. Actually, you know what? Just make sure enough money to do is I'm gonna sell the shotgun too, and I need the need the ammo. Handgun Sig P226. This is the most powerful handgun in the game. Organize. Six grand. Right, I'm not planning on using this thing, so I'm gonna take it out of my inventory. All right. Yeah, that's my preferred handgun in this game. Is the Sig. I wonder if this is what Irving meant by answers. Not sure, but obviously there's a connection with the umbrella, and that's never a good sign. We can worry about this later. First, we need to find out about Jill. You're right. Let's see what we can dig up. Okay. I forgot to give her the hand grenades.
Kejian Fires So that was kind of the birth of Umbrella. That was cool. I actually never read that before. You got it. She was gonna do that. I don't know how, but they could be using them to produce biological weapons. This is the facility from the picture, no doubt about it. We're finally getting somewhere. And if you're wondering why I said, oh crap, it's because I know what that was, and those of you who play this game, you'll know too. We already have samples of the T-Virus, the G-Virus, and the T-Veronica virus. And even the Lost Flagas Parasite. Wow, they wrapped up all the games in that this note alone. Shit. So yeah, uh, as that note just stated, we're now going to be dealing with liquors in this chapter. Yeah, Tricell is no better than Umbrella, in my opinion. <laughs> Alright, but... 
Was not torn apart by animals, Chris. Careful, I saw something. You know what, they're just going to test on these animals, so I'm going to put them out of their misery. Kill the rats. Poor puppy. <laughs> Come on. Okay. You grab it. Okay. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> Love you. Oh crap! Where's the place? there it is. No, they're not. She feels safe under here. They, they were a minute ago. I got them to stop. Heart stopper. It does do me good though, guys. See the liquors in Resident Evil 5. Cause it brings me back to Resident Evil 2, which I cannot wait to get my hands on the remake. Hopefully, they'll put it on Game Pass. So I won't have to pay for it, but. Probably won't happen for a while. Okay. Yeah. Take it, Roger. I owe you one. Ooh, money. Yeah, I don't think she worried that. Ooh, the AK-74. Um, you yeah, grab it. That is the most powerful machine gun in the game, but it's also the least accurate. It has a very jerky recoil. Thank God there weren't more of them. Yeah, we wouldn't last in a fight with a whole horde. I need ammo. Use this. Hint, hint. I would have greatly appreciate shotgun shells right now. Yeah, I did too. I don't think they'll notice us. Their senses are weak. Just to be safe, we should be as quiet as possible. Yep. But yeah, the liquors in this game basically go by heal, healing. I'm actually.
Sheva, can you be any more useless? Granted, I know you're low health, but seriously. God, she's useless in this game. Her AI stupidity is inexcusable. I'm sorry. And I'm complaining because she's getting hit a lot, but still. Even when she's not being hit, she is useless. Okay. Is there a more iconic monster in Resident Evil than the liquor? Because, well, the tyrant. Well, the tyrant maybe, but. Start shooting. I ain't running from these guys. I want to get some more of their lion hearts. They are worth money. Shotgun shells. Which will fully load up my shotgun and I can And Sheva used my machine gun ammo. Way to go, Sheva. Once again, I'm hindering my plans. Oh, okay. Aww. Take it. Okay. Shava, I swear, if you use that machine, you're going to use the machine gun. Damn it. experiment on.
Why? Well, that's why. You ate. The reason I was saving up my grenades and I forgot my grenades. Take it. Okay. I want to run around and get the stuff first. I need th yeah, I'm fine. I just need three hand grenades. Giant, this thing is either a giant crab or a spider, one of the two. I'm going to shoot more towards crabs. Alright, uh. I don't use the handgun, that's what I got the most handgun for. Now it's... Now it yep. Walk up to it. This is the easiest boss in the game. Actually, I, I'm going to go ahead and say in Resident Evil history. See why I love this handgun? This thing is so friggin' powerful. Just die already! And that's the easiest boss in Resident Evil history. So, um... <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to cut the commentary here. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this video, you know the routine. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Wolfpack92 signing out. Some answers. 